Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about different stuffs related to anime and manga. So, as a general audience, we have all thought that the splendid big eyes in the anime are just to making a character cuter, but there is more to it. And here in this video, I'll tell you the reason behind anime's big eye and how much these affect the cost of production. There is a proverb that say, eyes are the windows of the mind and they say more than the mouth do. So anime from the start of its history is known for its unique splendid eye style. Anime characters having large eyes is generally attributed to Osamu Tezuka, an artist prolific enough to be called the father of manga. And the creator of Astro Boy, he developed his art style by looking at the early West animations, especially Walt Disney and he started drawing disproportionately big eyes to better show a large range of emotions. It is from Astro Boy and Tezuka's other works that a lot of modern manga and anime style evolved and the big guys are one of the things that stuck around. So now we will be talking about the other usage of eyes besides the beautification of a character with the first headline being the depiction of power. As eyes covers a major part of the face in an anime, it is sometimes used as an indicator of power level or a rank. As in Naruto, major dojutsus like Sharingan Byakugan are shown through eyes having incredible power. And in Tokyo Ghoul, where we can easily distinguish between a human and a ghoul just by looking at their eyes. We can also get an idea through Kimetsu no Yaiba, where we see upper rank moons to have their rank in carved in one of their eyes, representing their rank in the organization and differentiating them from the other demons. So we can get a lot of details about the character by just looking at his eyes. Which gives us our second point in the list that is depiction of a personality. The color and the shape of the eyes depicts the insights of a character personality. As seen in, in major anime shows that people with narrow or small eyes are often bad guys whereas big eyes are for the good guys. Big round eyes makes a character look innocent and young. Just think about any of you anime protagonist. This is the reason why bad characters in anime most of the time have smaller eyes. This is not the case for all animes but a lot of older animes use this trope a lot. The color of the eyes also depicts a lot about a character as eyes with dark colors represents a sadistic or evil person while bright colors represents a cheerful character. But this isn't always a case as we can see Aizawa from My Hero Academia with narrow eyes yet a good guy and Genos from One Punch Man with black eyes to be also a nice guy. Cultural Aspects Eyes in anime have a culture aspect linked to them. Americans and Japanese actually read faces differently, with Americans tending to look at the mouth for cues of, to emotion and the Japanese tending to look at the eyes for the cues to emotions. This is due to the fact that Americans are more obvious with showing their emotions than Japanese are. And our eyes often give away our emotions much better than our mouth do. I have a feeling that the big eyes in anime help Japanese audiences better understand the character's emotions since these eyes are where a Japanese person would be looking for the emotional clues. Expression of Feelings So as now we know that the Japanese orations treat eyes as a way to understand the character, the eyes act as a way to express feelings. We could take an example of Kakashi Hatake from Naruto Universe who is always seen wearing a mask but had shown a major number of expressions throughout the series. Now as we have covered the impact of eyes on audience, we will be talking about the impact of these big eyes in the anime production. It is stated that on an average, 10% of the total cost of production is used for making eyes in anime. The reason is quite simple as due to the fact that eyes are being used as a device to convey feelings to the audience, eyes have to be drawn again and again with different expressions to fulfill the need while the mouth is just animated once and the clip is reused for the every time. Also, as seen in many animes like the Attack on Titan where eyes are made very fascinating, editors have to put extra efforts to retain their beauty throughout the series. So this is all from my side, thank you for watching this video, kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Do like and comment on your views regarding this video, also I have a Patreon account, do support me there also. See you guys in the next video, you guys are awesome.